So you've decided to get a new dog. Congratulations, that's a huge decision. Today, BB-8 and I are going to make sure that you're prepared for your new family member. Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow. Click thumbs up for the galactic super puppy himself, BB-8. While you're at it, click subscribe too so that you see all of my past, present, and future videos. Today, I'm gonna show you what you need to do and have on hand before your puppy comes home. I'm also gonna have a playlist in the description that'll show you how to teach your puppy all of the basics in order. Look at you, you're like a little space alien. Let's talk about food first. Chances are your dog came from a breeder or a shelter. Find out what your dog has been eating and get a bag of that dog food. Now, if you do opt to change the kind of dog food that your dog is eating, phase it in over a period of about two weeks, gradually phasing in more of the dog food of your choice. That's because if you change your puppy's food all at one time, you're likely to upset their stomach. PetFlow is a sponsor of this video. I work with PetFlow because I think they really do offer a way to make your life better and easier. So needless to say, I think you should get your dog food from PetFlow. The great thing about them is that you can go and you order your dog food one time and then it's just automatically there whenever you need it. You just select how often you want it delivered. They save you the hassle of having to drive to the store every week or two to get your dog food. I love that they and you guys support content like this because I think it's so important. Now I'll have their link in the description along with a coupon code that'll give you an awesome discount on your first order. Did you know that the biggest mistake new puppy parents make is giving their puppy too much freedom way too early on. And don't make that mistake. A dog crate, a puppy playpen, and baby gates are fantastic because they help you control your dog's environment, an extremely important thing with a new dog, and they're great for potty training. I'll have a video in the description that will give you all the details on house training. Having a safe place for your dog to hang out when you can't supervise and having them on leash are the ideal ways to keep your dog out of trouble. Get several nylon leash leashes if possible so that you always have one that's convenient. Nylon leashes are especially nice because you can wash them pretty easily and remember your dog is going to need to be leashed pretty much full time. I will supervise you and you will be the perfect dog. Puppy proof your house before your dog comes home and make sure he doesn't have access to anything potentially dangerous like electrical cords. Those are a favorite chew toy of many a puppy. Do the obvious things like keeping garbage cans and house plants away from your dog and where they don't have access to them. Keep cleaners and chemicals secure behind cabinets too. And generally do a good once over of your house, make sure there's nothing too small or something that they could access that would potentially injure them. Do your best to see your house from your puppy's point of view. Puppies are very curious and they'll quickly find anything that you've missed or that they can possibly put in their mouth or play with. But don't worry, in a minute I'll give you some advice on chewing, training, rewards, and more. So what about dog bowls? Well, I recommend that you get several dog bowls. That way you can wash them and swap them out every single day and always have a clean bowl. I think stainless steel bowls are a little bit better than plastic because they're easier to clean and your dog is also a lot less likely to chew these up. You'll need a collar too to put your dog's ID tags and rabies tags on and be sure to include your phone number and address on your dog's ID tag. It's a good idea to have a harness as well. Puppies like this especially are growing and developing so you want a way to easily supervise them and walk them and the harness is probably the safest way to do that for a young dog. Nope, this isn't a tug toy. We're gonna talk about toys, just can't, no, no. There are two main types of toys that you'll need to get for your dog, especially if you have a puppy. There's chew toys like this, which include things like real bones and other toys specifically designed for dogs to chew on. And then there's training toys like this, which are things like balls, frisbees, tug toys, and anything else your dog really loves. Most people don't understand the difference between these two types of toys, but it's actually very simple. Leaving out chew toys like this is fine, but don't leave training toys lying around for your dog to just investigate. We want to keep these toys really special because when I'm able to just bring these out for training, I'm in a position to keep them really exciting and really interesting to a dog. Keep away is always a nice way to ignite interest in a new toy. Quick, let him win every once in a while to make sure that he doesn't get too frustrated. Toys like this are so important because you can really keep their attention and tug of war is really satisfying to most dogs. So you can use that to motivate them like sit. Yes, get it like that. Food isn't the only thing that you need to reward with. Get a variety of different toys so that you can experiment and figure out which ones your dog really loves playing with. He likes a tennis ball. That's my kind of dog. And it's normal for your dog to be interested in one toy at one moment and another toy at a different moment. For example, you know, a little while ago, he couldn't get enough of Yoda over here. And now he's got a tennis ball and he's into that. 
and in five minutes, he'll probably be into this. Don't give up on a toy because they're not in the mood for that particular toy at that moment. Make sense? Toys like this are really good to keep your dog occupied because you can put kibble inside of it and they can move it around and interact with it. And it keeps their attention, obviously, because food keeps coming out of it. And he's using his brain, he's thinking here, so that's one of the things I really love about a toy like this. For some older dogs, and especially puppies, it's important to have a lot of different chew toys. For example, sometimes a dog is in the mood for something really hard, like this, or this bone over here. And then other times they're interested in something a little bit more kind of in between, like this plastic bone here. And then still other times they prefer something soft like this. I'm a fan of natural chew toys like this, you know, like real bones. Dogs tend to really like them pretty much instantly. <laughs> That's a trick, you're walking on your hind legs, oh my gosh. It's a good idea for chew toys to be pretty oversized too. Much better to be too big rather than too small. Just make sure that they don't splinter or break, and if they do, get rid of them. You'll want to have a cozy place for your dog to sleep and hang out, but young puppies like BB-8 and insistent chewers will likely destroy a normal dog bed if you just give them access to it if they haven't been taught properly yet. Old towels and a blanket like this are really good alternatives to a dog bed because they're cheaper, they're easier to clean, and usually less tempting for a dog to chew up, though you'll still want to supervise them just to make sure. If you need to stock up on supplies, I'll have links to some of my favorite products in the description. Click thumbs up if you guys found this video helpful and if if you think BB-8 did a good job, also make sure you're subscribed. We have some awesome videos coming up. Help me continue making content like this that will improve the lives of puppies and their parents by making a contribution of any amount you'd like to our Patreon campaign. Set up automatic pet food delivery with Pet Float. I'll have a link in the description as well as a coupon code that'll give you a terrific discount on your first order. See you guys in the next episode of the Dog Training Revolution. Good job. BB-8 is awesome. If you have a puppy, you'll definitely want to check out these videos, plus the training playlist I mentioned earlier. That playlist will be in the description. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks to all of our patrons on Patreon. We'll see you guys in the next video.